evil conspiracy. They don't understand it. So a lot of them are confused because they're doing the work of the order within these universities. It's when you rise within the Jesuit order that you're initiated into the true conspiracy, obviously, you know. And it's the high Jesuit provincials that are the ones that control the presidents, the prime ministers. This might be a lot for people to take in that are, are completely new to this, but at the same time, I don't want to hold back. You know, I want to give all the information I can, and then you can go and research across the internet. Let me make it very clear. So I'll bring a clear message, okay. The Society of Jesus, the Jesuit order, secretly control the Catholic Church today. It is not Freemasonry or High Masonry. It is the Jesuits of Rome. Every Pope of Rome is ruled by and governed by the Jesuit order. And the last Pope of Rome, Pope Benedict, he was a High Knight of Malta, which is a Vatican knighthood. The Hospitaller of St. John of Jerusalem. But... All of the cardinals and bishops, the whole Catholic Church is really governed and secretly controlled from what's called the Church of the Jesu. That is the Jesuit Curia. That's the mother church of the Jesuit order. That's their headquarters, okay? And it is the black pope today that controls the Vatican. Okay, I've made that clear. But he also controls all governments secretly, covertly, through his Jesuit provincials, as I explained before. Now it is very important that Father Adolfo Nicholas Patchen, the Black Pope, has positioned his High Jesuit Provincial from Argentina to become the Pope of Rome. And as I've said previously, this is the revelation that needs to come out because it's clear to me that the Antichrist in the future will be a Black Pope. I mean, it's very clear, it's out in the open, that that is the direction that they're going in. Come on, I mean, it's completely clear, isn't it? To those that have eyes to see. We have Shimon Peres, a Vatican Knight of Rome. We have uh, the Israeli government, you know, welcoming Pope Francis soon. We have Obama, soon to go over there. What is all this for? It's for the rebuilding of the Third Jewish Temple. And what will take place is that the Pope of Rome will be the head of a one-world religion and a one-world government from Israel. Israel will be the headquarters of the one-world government. The United Nations will move its headquarters there. The Vatican will move its headquarters there. It's going to happen. It will happen. And at that moment, the Pope of Rome will be the false prophet of Revelation 13. That had two horns like a lamb and that spoke as a dragon. He himself will cause all men to worship his superior general for he himself is under orders to the black pope being a high jesuit provincial he will promote and cause all men to worship the black pope so the jesuits are coming out in the open now you're going to have a lot of promotion of them a lot of glorifying them in the media because really the jesuits in all honesty they are under the radar they really are really but in the mainstream media, there's going to be a lot of promotion of the Jesuit order. A lot of revelations about the Jesuits. Okay. And this will prepare the way for the Black Pope. The Black Pope in the future will be the one that... He will come out in the open, actually. He really will. You know, this will be overt control. He will be seen to be in control of the Catholic Church in the future. He will be seen to be in control of the one world religion. And it's the Pope of Rome that will actually really cause all the world to wonder and worship after the beast. This will happen. So it's for such a time as this that this has taken place. That's why I'm covering it so much. There's so much coverage on my channel because it's just such an important time right now, you know. The Jesuit order have never had such a high Jesuit in position as the Pope of Rome. And it's such a time as this we have, you know, also, the Israeli government preparing a seat for the Pope of Rome. But while everyone is looking at the Pope and calling him Petrus Romanus, the Antichrist, they're not looking at the Black Pope, the one who really is in control, Adolfo Nicholas Pachin. He is the superior Jesuit general, and he is the Pope of Rome. Just remember that. Remember that. He is the Pope of Rome. 
not Pope Francis. He is merely just a Jesuit provincial under orders to the Black Pope. Okay, so I'll bring out the president of all of the high Jesuit provincials of Eastern Asia. And you find those that are in the highest levels of the Jesuit order today are actually high provincials. They have served their uh, term, you know, as in they have overseen the Society of Jesus for many years. Now, when it comes to the secret conspiracy, I will explain this. Okay, you have all of the governments across the earth today, but behind those governments, the men that are really in control of those governments are Jesuit provincials. Every region across the earth has a Jesuit province ruled by a Jesuit provincial, and the Black Pope today, the Superior General of the Society of Jesus, is Adolfo Nicholas Pachin, and as I've said, he was a very high Jesuit provincial. That is why he has placed a high Jesuit provincial from Argentina, who ruled over the whole of South America, to become the Pope of Rome. Adolfo Nicholas was also the moderator. Uh, he was at the service of the Jesuits of several countries, including Australia, China, Korea, uh, East Timor. And obviously, you know, this man governed, you know, really most of the Society of Jesus with Hans Kovenbach, Peter Hans Kovenbach, who was the previous uh, Jesuit general. On the second ballot of the 35th General Congregation of the Society of Jesus, Nicholas was elected as the Jesuit Order's 30th Superior General, and that election was on the 19th of January 2008, as I've said, succeeding the Dutch father, Jesuit priest, Peter Hans Kovenbach, who was the previous Black Pope. His election was immediately relayed to Pope Benedict, who confirmed him in the post, but Really, it's not the Popes of Rome that confirm the office of the Father General. Okay, you will find though, as you go on the internet, and you look into the Jesuits, you'll see many websites revealing their charitable deeds and their good works. And uh, I just want to say also that there's hundreds of lower Jesuits here who have no understanding of this uh, I should have been bringing out for the last couple of years and obviously with the new election of the new Pope, Pope Francis, a lot of people are curious and in digging into this order. Who are the Jesuits? What is the Jesuit order? And also they will find a lot of videos on the internet talking about the Black Pope and they don't understand who he is. So as I've said, I'm going to explain who this man is and then give a lot more understanding of this uh, Jesuit conspiracy. As I've said, Adolfo Nicholas Pachin, he is the general today. He is the superior father general of the Society of Jesus. And he entered the Jesuit order as a novice, that is a, a novice, in 1953. And he studied at the University of Alcala. And in his degrees in philosophy until 1960 when he travelled to Japan to familiarise himself with Japanese language and culture. But really he was actually a high Jesuit provincial uh, in Japan. And Nicholas entered the Sofia University in Tokyo, where he studied theology in 1964. And Adolfo Nicholas Patchum was later ordained to the priesthood on the 17th of March 1967. And from 1968 to 1971, Adolfo Nicholas Patchin studied at the Pontifical Gregorian University in Rome, where he earned his doctorate in theology, and upon his return to Japan, Nicholas was made a professor of systematic theology at his alma mater of Sophie University, and he taught there for the next 30 years. He was also the director of the East Asian Pastoral Institute at the Itenio de Manala University in the Philippines from 1978 to 1984. 
Now there's a lot of history that I could explain but I won't really. What I will say, just to bring it up until this current time, is in 2004, uh, Father Adolfo Nicholas Patchen returned to the Philippines after he was named President of the Jesuit Conference of Provincials for Eastern Asia and Oceania. This actually means that Adolfo Nicholas was obviously... Hi there, my name is Alan Lamont. I'm bringing a video now about the Black Pope to give people understanding that are maybe new to this subject because I brought out videos explaining that the Jesuits control the Vatican and it is well known now that the new Pope of Rome, Pope Francis, is a Jesuit. So there's been a few comments, people saying who is the Black Pope, what is the Black Pope, is it a white man, black man, uh, you know, who are the Jesuits, there's just not much understanding there in the sense that you know there's a lot of people coming into this revelation this anti-vatican movement now because of the new pope being a jesuit there's a lot of people coming in to really find out who the jesuits are so i want to explain this first of all and then i'll move into the uh, black pope and who he is today first of all i want to explain that the jesuit order today is in control of the Catholic Church. It has been since the time of the 1800s completely. Now the Jesuit order was created by Saint Ignatius of Loyola and Francis Xavier. There was also other Jesuits who are not as well known but were extremely important in the creation of the Jesuit order. They were called uh, Peter Fabier, Gonzaga, also Robert Balamine and uh, Pope Francis. Now the Black Pope today, although he's not called the Black Pope, he's actually called the Superior Jesuit General. Today, the Superior Jesuit General, who is the Black Pope, is called Adolfo Nicholas Patchen. He was born on the 29th of April 1936 and is a Spanish priest of the Roman Catholic Church. He is the 30th and current Superior General of the Society of Jesus. The Jesuits are the largest religious order in the Roman Catholic Church. And it is not the Popes of Rome that rule the papacy today. That is the revelation and the information.